Hello everyone. Today we shall discuss question number two. Who am I? I am a number less than forty. I am a number less than forty. So this is the symbol of less than any number less than forty. One of my factors is seven. So if the factors are seven, that means the multiples would be seven. Seven two is a fourteen. Seven three is a twenty one. Seven fours are twenty-eight, seven fives are thirty-five, and seven six are forty-two. We don't need forty-two because the number is less than forty, so we don't need forty-two. The sum of my digits is eight. When we add the two digits, it is eight. So one plus four, five. Two plus one, three. Two plus eight, ten. Three plus five, eight. So here the sum of the two digits, three and five, is eight. So we need to find out the number. So the number is thirty-five because thirty-five is less than forty. One of the factors is seven. That means seven times five is thirty-five. So seven is one of the factors, and the sum of the digits three plus five is eight. So it satisfies all the conditions. Therefore, the answer is thirty-five. The next part of the question is: I am a number less than hundred. So the number is less than hundred. This is the symbol of less than any number less than hundred. Two of my factors are three and five. So three and five are the factors of that number. That means three times five, fifteen is the factor of that number. So we will write the multiples of fifteen. Fifteen ones are fifteen. Fifteen twos are thirty. Fifteen threes are forty-five. Fifteen fours are sixty. Fifteen fives are seventy-five. Fifteen sixes are ninety. Stop here because the number is less than hundred. One of my digits is one more than the other. It's saying that one of the digit is one more than the other. Here, if you see, forty-five, five is one more than four. So the answer for this is forty-five. Forty-five is a number less than hundred. Two of the factors are three and five. So three into five into three. If I do, I would get forty-five. So three fives are fifteen. Fifteen threes are forty-five. And one of my digit is one more than the other. Five is one more than four. So forty-five is the answer for the second part of this question. The next question is a number for which the sum of all its factors is equal to twice the number is called a perfect number. The number twenty-eight is a perfect number. Its factors are one, two, four, seven, fourteen, and twenty-eight. The sum is fifty-six, which is twice twenty-eight. Find a perfect number between one and ten. So in this question, we need to find a perfect number between one and ten. However, we must know what is a perfect number. The example given here is of twenty-eight. The factors of twenty-eight are one, two, four, seven, fourteen, and twenty-eight. When we add up all these factors, one plus two. Plus four, plus seven, plus fourteen, plus twenty-eight. One plus two, three. Three plus four, seven. Seven plus seven, fourteen. Fourteen plus fourteen, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight plus twenty-eight. The sum is fifty-six. And twice the number. That means two times the number. Two into that number. Two into twenty-eight is also fifty-six. So when we have the sum of all the factors and twice the number, it gives the same answer. We call that number a perfect number. So twenty-eight is a perfect number. We need to find out a perfect number between one and ten. So let's start with two. Factors of two, one and two. Sum one plus two is three. And twice the number is two to the four, so three and four. So this is not a perfect number. Factors of three, one, three, 
1 plus 3 is 4 and 2 into 3 is 6. 4, 6. Not a perfect number. 4 factors 1, 2 and 4. Add up these numbers 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 4, 7. And twice the number 2, 4 is 8. Not the same number. So not a perfect number. Factors of 5, 1, 5. Sum of these two, 1 plus 5, 6 and 2, 5 is 10. This is all twice the number. Okay, 2 times the number. And this is all sum of the factors. Next number is 6. Factors of 6, 1, 2, 3, 6. When I add up these factors, 6 plus 3, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the sum is 12. And twice the number, 2 times 6 is 12. Now see here, the sum is 12 and twice the number is also 12. So this is a perfect number. This one is a perfect number. Let's check 7. Factors 1 and 7. 1 plus 7, 8. 2 7s are 14. No. 8 factors are 1, 2, 4, 8. 8 plus 4, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 here and 2 times 8 is 16. Not the same number. So not a perfect number. 9, 1, 3, 9. Add up 13. 2 into 9 is 18. So this is again not the same number. So not a perfect number. So the only number which is a perfect number between 1 and 10 is 6. So 6 is the answer for this one. So that was about question number 2 and 3. In the next video we shall discuss question number 4 and 5. Thank you.